from uh, Superior Martial Arts. Here just to uh, give you some tips on uh, you know how to stay safe, whether there's a virus out there or not. Okay. Uh, so today we're going to be talking about the uh, safety zone versus the danger zone. Now, normally we define the safety zone uh, as any area that we're safe if my opponent tries to strike or grab me. So from here, if he tries to punch me, kick me, or grab me, I am safe. Now. The federal government has declared the safety zone at about here. But let's uh, get back to reality here. And when this is all over, we'll get back to making sure that we can manage that safety zone on our own. Okay? So the first and easiest way to manage it is to see the attacker and the threat coming. And if he advances, to back away. Maintain your distance. Use your footwork, but always make sure that you're keeping your eyes on your opponent, okay? Now, if he does start to breach that, uh, that danger zone, boom! Don't be afraid to use your longest, strongest weapons, your legs, to keep him at a longer distance. If you're trying to push and punch, you can keep him in this kind of range, but with the leg, you can keep him at a greater distance, okay? So, uh, number one thing here is be aware of your opponent, keep them in front of you, and if they get into your range, use your kicks to keep yourself safe. So, uh, we're gonna get into uh, somebody has breached that danger zone and now they are looking to try and get a hold of us, either grabbing us uh, by the wrist here, all right, grabbing us by the shirt, okay? So obviously we haven't been able to uh, utilize our kicks to maintain the danger zone and he's gotten in, he's gonna grab onto me, okay? So now the first thing that I wanna try and do is get this hand away from Okay? So I can either look to try and pull, and looking at uh, where his fingers and thumb come together is the weakest point. If I try and pull here down or anything through his hand, not, uh, not as easy as it's going to where uh, there's actually a break between the, the fingers. Okay? So if I'm quick enough and strong enough, I can pull that hand on its own. If I need some help, I use my, my secondary hand. Third, I can use the leverage of my foot. Okay? The other thing is making sure that we try and bring the elbows uh, together, not just swinging in any random direction. I'm thinking about bringing that elbow to his elbow to break the grip, okay? He's grabbing me up top, boom, prevent it if you can. If he gets a good hold and you try and break that grip, and he won't, okay, let's look to wrap, going with our shoulder lock, aligning our forearm here with his elbow, boom, pull it up to get the tap on the shoulder lock. Um, we're in a position here where uh, he's gotten a hold of me here and I tried to knock his hand off and it's it's just not happening for me, okay? But Sensei, what if I went the wrong way? I can't shoulder lock him from here. I got you, don't worry. So from here, if I've swung the wrong way, so the first video we went this way and we found ourselves in a shoulder lock, okay? From here, if I swing the other way, no problem, okay? No shoulder lock. We're gonna take the hands here, all right, find the thumbs on the back of the, the hand and push in for the wrist lock. If you can't get the, um, the, the finish on the wrist lock, boom, don't worry. He's in great position for you to practice your soccer or, you know, break that little tricky wing that he's got there, okay? So from here, if I, if I swing the wrong way, okay, no big deal, I'm going to trap this arm until I can pry his hand off. Two thumbs on the back, pushing forward here, boom, either wrist lock, elbow smash or kick. And if you want to get really fancy here, okay, I've tried to knock the hand off, all right, I tried to go this way, whatever, I'm gonna lift it up and come in behind. Now once I've got uh, the position in behind, I can either weave my hand through, putting on the shoulder lock, or if he's a little bit tall for me, I'm gonna step on the back of his knee, come in, and I'm gonna go with my rear neck and choke, okay? Here, this is um, you know going to sound silly, but this is uh, instruction on how to fall correctly. Okay, so if you're in a situation where your opponent has pushed you, tripped you, thrown you, or knocked you down, and you're going to the ground, from here it's important that we uh, make sure that we are mitigating the amount of impact that we take. We want to transfer the energy and kind of roll out of it uh, rather than you know pancake and 
land flat. So if you watch again, when I'm here, uh, he's gonna give me a push, I'm gonna get into my ball, I'm gonna tuck my chin, then I'm gonna look to roll and put the brakes on with my arms before I end up in a position where I'm rolling here and getting stuck and compromised on my neck. So from here, uh, he goes to push me, I break crawl, tucking my chin down, and I keep my eyes on my opponent. is uh, lying down on the job, enjoying his March break here, but uh, while I'm down here, what we're going to do is we're going to do the second half, the continuation of uh, where we started with the last video. So, we've been knocked to the ground here, and we're looking to try and get back up, okay? This is not a place that I want to try and win a striking battle from, okay? So, from here, a couple things I want to make sure of. I always keep my eyes on my opponent. I never want to expose my back to my opponent and all right. Second thing is I want to keep a barrier either here with my leg or here with my hand, kind of a frame to manage my distance. All right. And if he's throwing strikes, I've got, you know, uh, some defense here. Okay. The third thing is that I want to make sure that I move away as I build my base. Okay. So I don't want to come up here like this and start pushing off the ground. I do want to be pushing off the ground, but I want to build it behind me. So as I'm here and if he's advancing, I'm going to be dragging myself back getting up to uh, my elbow, getting up to my hand, and eventually standing up. So I'm here, I'm up to my hand, I'm up to my... Uh